Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever the may, case may be for you. This is Rusty with the Masters Lawn Care with another quick tip on Gainesville lawns. Today we're right here in the beginning of fall, first week of September, and I've got two lawn weeds that are extremely invasive, hard to kill this time of year. Want to make sure you know what they are so you can spot them in your yard and that you know how important it is to manually pull these out if you do not have an effective weed control program, or if you notice them in your yard, call your lawn care company and get them back out to respray them until they're gone because they are detrimental lawns. Let's get a get a look in the lawn and get a close up. So here's a spot that we've been working on. It's in a little bit of shade, so bear with me as I try and show it. A spot we've been trying to get to fill in and we've been fertilizing. It was a big bare spot and it's really starting to fill in and grow well with all the rains that we've had this summer. But if you were looking right here, you would assume that all of that is in is St. Augustine grass. There are thick blades, everything's growing in real tight. It's super exciting, except when you look at this stolen. This is not a St. Augustine stolen. There, this is doveweed. And the way you know that this is doveweed is by the color. I'm trying to get in some sunlight. See the red stolen? The stolen is what the leaves grow out of, the round piece that the leaves grow out of. That red stolen and thin root system is the definition or what defines the fact that this is a dove weed. And, and it is really spreading fast. I have seen dove weed take over a St. Augustine lawn in less than a month. And I'm talking about a three, 4,000 square foot lawn and it just start with one bear patch. So get in there, either manually pull them out like I am right now. As I was going to look at the other weed, I saw another spot with this. See how easy it is to spot that red in the middle of that St. Augustine lawn? It really stands out. So that's what you're looking for. You're not gonna see it if you're just looking for broad green leaves because they look so similar to St. Augustine, you're never gonna see it. But look for that red stolen and they stand out really good for you is not a lawn we treat it's the neighbor to the lawn that we treat but if you look at this grass this is not a turf grass that's called creeping basket grass okay got a real curled leaf if you look at it real close kind of got some waves in it but you look if I back up it's in the St. Augustine lawn it is really dense and thick here across there and going up the edge of the driveway across there I mean that is really taking over the lawn this one's a little bit more difficult to pull out. You can see it's got a better root system. You know, I'm sitting here grabbing it, and it is it is a little tougher. So the root system's a little deeper. It doesn't have stolen, so it's not growing along the top of the ground. It's really setting in roots and growing in uh, and establishing itself to take over that turf grass. I mean, if we did weed control on this area right here, we could get all that back basket grass turned brown, but there would be almost no grass in that area because it's already choked it all. Well, that was uh, a quick lawn tip on weed control in your lawn. I hope that's helpful for you. If you're looking for a company in Gainesville to get that under control for you, give us a call at 352-378-LAWN. If you're not in Gainesville or the surrounding areas, call a locally owned lawn spray company, not a pest control company, and they'd be glad to help you out with that. Have a great day.